I was looking at this story, actually the story, this tweet of how Elon Musk is not joining the board, the Twitter board, because that signals to me a hostile takeover. That's why they offered him that position. I said this last week. They offered him that position in the first place to stop him from taking over everything and coming in and firing everybody. So the, the CEO of Twitter, Parag, had sent out a tweet saying, Elon has decided not to join our board. I sent a brief note to the company sharing with you all here. They said we were as excited to collaborate and clear about the, we were clear about the risks. And they said he has to act in the best interest of the company and shareholders. The board offered him a seat. And they said that Elon shared that same morning that he's no longer going to be joining the board. I believe it's for the best, he writes. Parag writes. He says that we haven't always will value input from our shareholders, whether they're on our board or not. He's our biggest shareholder. He said that he also wrote in this, in this tweet that their goals and priorities remain unchanged. And that's the problem. The unchanged goals and priorities are throttling any real discussion anyone could ever have on Twitter. They've been limiting, limiting me, so I've been at approximately the same level of followers for um, a few days now. I was actually going to go look. I've been for the last two years taking screenshots daily. That's amazing. Because if I get to a certain point, 20,000 will disappear overnight. They're not all bots. Some of it's been my own husband having to refollow me, so they're not all bots. <laughs> yeah, Kane's had to refollow me. I've had to refollow people. They throttle you. Conservatives really made Twitter what it was. Because we got so active in grassroots stuff like the, the, the Don't Go movement, all that. That, was, that predated the Tea Party. And then when people realized that, and there were stories about how conservatives really had the biggest explosion of influence and usage of it. And then Twitter had to act, and that's when they started throttling everything. It's so stupid. Imagine being so terrified and so insecure about your own ability to articulate a viewpoint that you have to shut people out. That just makes you a pansy. Mm -hmm.